Welcome to video 9.1c, solve quadratics of the form x squared equals a, where a is a constant. All right, big note. All quadratic equations have two solutions. They may be real or non-real. The two solutions may be different or they may be identical, but there's always two of them. Um, also, whenever x squared equals a number, the solutions are always x equals plus or minus the square root of that number. Again, that plus or minus stems from a negative times a negative also equaling a positive. That's kind of where it comes from. All right, so I've got four examples. Solve the following. All right, so I've got x squared by itself. Whenever I see that, I just take the square root of left side and plus or minus the square root of the right side. Okay, square rooting undoes squaring, so that'll result in x. And then I just gotta take plus or minus the square root of the right side. So it'll be plus or minus the square root of 25 over the square root of 36. I'm just separating them. Oh, and that'll be plus or minus uh, 5 over 6. Okay. Um, sometimes in my quiz or test, I'll give you two answer blanks. So x sub 1 equals minus 5 over 6. x sub 2 equals positive 5 over 6. Two different ways of representing the answers. Problem 2. Same thing. I'm going to take the square root of the left side and plus or minus the square root of the right side. Okay, so I'll get x equals plus or minus the square root of 24. Now you always want to report your answers in exact simplified form unless otherwise specified. Sometimes they might say round the nearest tenth. All right, so again, I could do that factoring, but I know 24 is four times six, and four is a perfect square. So I'll say equals plus or minus the square root of four times the square root of six equals plus or minus two radical six. Again, x sub one equals negative two radical six. x sub two equals positive two radical six. Just two different ways to express your answer. All right, problem three is slightly different. I don't have x squared isolated. So what I'm gonna do is isolate it, and what I'm gonna do is subtract 25 from each side. So minus 25 here, minus 25 here. I'll get x squared equals 144. Once I've got it in this form, then I can go ahead and take the square root of left side and plus or minus the square root of right side. So I will obtain x equals plus or minus, that's just gonna be plus or minus 12. And then again, if you want, x sub 1 equals negative 12, x sub 2 equals positive 12. However you wish to represent your answer. Finally, example 4. Um, what I've got to do is clean this up, isolate the x squared, clean this up, and then take the problem home. Alright, so let's do it. So I'm going to write 2 radical 2 times 2 radical 2 plus x squared equals 17 squared. If you forgot 17 squared, you can just multiply it out really quickly. 7, 11, 17, 289. All right, so uh, I'll multiply this out. 2 by 2 is 4. Rad 2 by rad 2 is 2. And 4 by 2 is 8. So I'm going to get 8 plus x squared equals 289. Remember, I'm going to isolate this x squared term, so I'm going to subtract 8 from each side. Okay, so I'll go minus 8 here and minus 8 here. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'll just put the answer over here. So I'll get x squared equals 281. And once I get into that form, then I can take the square root of left side and plus or minus the square root of right side. 
So I'll get x equals plus or minus the square root of 281. You do want to check to see if you could simplify that. You can't. If you did the prime factorization, um, you wouldn't find a pair of factors. Um, and you could again report your answer as x sub 1 equals negative radical 281 and x sub 2 equals positive radical 281 or you could express it as plus or minus. So there you have it. Four examples on how to solve a quadratic equation of the form x squared equals a.